Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today I am going to use up a bunch of my fat quarters and I'm going to make these cute drawstring bags. They're quick, they're easy, and chances are you're going to have everything you need already at home for this. Let's get started. So for this, fat quarters are going to work out great because fat quarters usually start at 18 inches and well you are going to need a 17 and a half inch square. I do like to have fabrics of high contrast because there's a little area that you have a little peekaboo through and it's nice to see the inside peeking to the outside. So you will need some ribbon or some cording for the drawstring bag. So two pieces of ribbon at 24 inches will work fine and you can use anything. And because you're going to make it a drawstring, you need to have something to pull that ribbon through that casing. Now you can get a long hook like this and it does have a little hook on the end but if you don't have this well a good old-fashioned safety pin will work just as well. And because you are going to be sewing this together and turning it right sides out a point turner will be handy. So the first thing you're going to need is two squares at 17 and a half inches and you're going to put right sides together so a quarter inch all the way around, leaving a little opening because you need to take this and turn it right side out. I've sewn all the way around a quarter of an inch and have left a little bit of an opening. Now if you take that opening and iron the seams right along where that stitching line would be, when you go to turn it right sides it's already set for you so it'll be a lot easier to close up that seam. The next thing we need to do is trim off these corners. Let's turn this bag right side out, poke out the corners and give it a nice flat press. Do you see by folding that inside how already it looks closed? Now you need to stitch all the way around the bag as close as to the edge as you can that you feel comfortable doing and that will close up that seam without any hand stitching. So draw a center mark right down from one point to the next. And the next thing you need to do is take a ruler and go over four inches from the center mark. And just put a pin at that four inch mark and then do the same thing to this side. From the center mark, go over four inches, put a pin, put a pin. Then you're going to fold this right at the pin marks onto one side then you will fold it to the pins to the next side. The next thing you need to do is take this point and bring it up and leave just a little bit of a space in here. So this is what it's going to look like. You have the points on each end and then this is crossed over. Now what's going to happen is this bag's going to be folded in half and each end is going to become a pocket. Now take this to the iron and press it all. Now that we have a good impress, we're going to sew the casing. So the casing is going to go along the top and the bottom. And you need to measure up a quarter inch for your first line of stitching. Then from that, it'll be three quarter inch and you're going to do another line of stitching. So it's a total of one inch. And you're going to do that to this side and this side. And you're going to stitch right over top of these corners. So a quarter inch and then a three quarter of an inch casing. And I stitched all the way right to the end. The next row of stitching is going to go right through the center. And that is going to make sure that the pocket sort of has an ending. So it is going to go right in the middle. And believe it or not, you're almost done. Now you're going to take the bag and you are going to fold it together so that the pockets are on the inside. And matching your edges, and you will stitch this bag closed on each side here. So match up your seams, sew as close as you can to the edge, whatever you feel comfortable with, and stitch both sides closed. So both of the edges of the bag are closed. Now at this point, you could be done, unless you wanted to square off the corners of the bag. And I really like the look of the bags with the square corners. So making sure your pockets are in the correct order inside, you will need to take this and have that stitching seam 
and the folding seam together so you have this little triangle. You can draw a one inch mark right along here. And that is going to be your stitching line and do that for both corners. So now you have these little corners sewn down and that will give this a flat bottom. Turn it right sides out. For the casing you're going to need two pieces of ribbon and the ribbon must be able to go all the way around. And this is why I like the long hook, but you can use a safety pin. So you're going to put the ribbon through on one side. There's the fold. You need to put it through to this side. You see you have one fold there. Now you need to repeat so that the ribbon is going to have the fold on this side. So here we have the two ends here, which means the folded edge would be there. These two ends, which means the folded edge is here. And tie a knot. So the knots have been done. It's fully lined inside. And you see how you can see that lining? So that's why I like to use a contrast. You have two pockets and when you pull the ends together, your bag is done. So quick and easy little drawstring bags. They're a great little item to keep on hand just in case you need some gifts. Matter of fact, I'm going to go through a bunch more of my fat quarters and make all sorts more and I'm going to keep them in my gift giving drawer. You never know when you're going to need a cute little gift to give or it's a nice way to receive a gift. I'll put a link in the description to the fabric lineup that I did use here from Timeless Treasures. And as always, thank you for joining me today and come on back. And let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.